hey thanks so much for watching our adoption video that video was put together by my sister-in-law who was able to come to the adoption day and and she very graciously took all of that footage and compiled all the video together and edited it and we just love it and i'm so thankful to you for following along with my story and our family story of bringing my and emma into our home and now officially into our family it has been a journey <laughs> let's just say that it has been a journey of ups and downs and if you've watched like my adoption updates throughout the whole process you know it has been very emotional for me very emotional for them for my husband for our daughter who was already in our family and so i don't like to paint adoption as this perfect flawless picture it is not for the faint of heart and I think walking through this journey has really taught me that there are things about it that are harder than you will think. This has been just so cool to be able to document from the first day that they moved in and up until now. And I know that the updates have been pretty sporadic, but I think it's been really interesting to just be able to go back and see kind of where we were and how much has changed since the kids first moved in with us. Um, but I just want to tell you a little bit about the adoption day and how it went. So we actually went and stayed nearby where they are being adopted, the county they're from. And it was really fun because we stayed at this Airbnb that had a hot tub and the kids got to like hang out in it in the morning and it was like super snowy, but we still got to go in the hot tub. So they really enjoyed that. And the place we stayed was super nice. Actually, um, Nick and I are gonna go back there <laughs> when over spring break, we're taking our two oldest kids to go visit their foster grandma there. And we are going to stay at this Airbnb while they are spending some time with her. And so we're really excited because it was a super nice place to stay. And another thing that was really fun about the adoption was that so many people were able to come. So my dad and my sister were able to come. My mom was so sad because she got COVID right before and she was not able to make it. My mother-in-law and my sister-in-law and my brother-in-law were all able to come as well. And it was just really cool to, to see everyone there in our family. And then also the kid's foster mom and her niece were able to come as well. So we just had a lot of people there. It just was really a really good day. The kids were definitely really nervous at the start, pretending like they didn't know why they were there, like not able to answer a question. They were just, even though it was something they were so excited about, it's, it's weird, you know, and a ton of social workers came, so like a ton of the, the workers from the county who had either like heard of their case or worked on their case throughout their five years in foster care, all of these people came. So when we walked in the room, there were already like 15 to 20 people and we weren't expecting it, but it was really special. Our kid's caseworker was able to come and she brought like this huge cake for the kids, which was really nice and unexpected. They also got presents from their foster mom and it was just a really special day and I think they felt really celebrated. Afterwards we went to lunch and not everyone was able to make it um, but it was really fun. We just got a big table at this um, local restaurant and we got to eat and we gave the kids their gifts. And then another really fun thing that we kind of decided to do somewhat last minute, I had to convince Nick that we should because we were definitely tired. We stopped at Build-A-Bear, but we didn't tell the kids we were going. My my daughter had kind of brought up like, maybe we could go to Build-A-Bear sometime, like, I don't know, several weeks before. And we were like, I don't know, Build-A-Bear is kind of expensive, you know, um, but we did decide to surprise them. So we told them we were stopping at this mall to like stretch our legs and walk around. And our oldest was acting like, what is going on? But the other kids were like, okay, you know. So we walked in and when they saw the Build-A-Bear, they were like, what? And so we surprised them. It was super fun to see their reactions and they were just like, they loved it. But man, guys, Build-A-Bear is so expensive. <laughs> like I knew it was expensive, but when you're checking out and you're getting three Build-A-Bears, you're like, oh, this is why like this isn't a regular um, everyday type of thing, but they loved it. It was a super fun day and a good way to commemorate it. It just feels so good now that everything is finalized and it's all official. And I was never worried throughout the whole process that like it wasn't gonna happen. Like I, cause they were an adoptive placement, but it was legal risk. But I never felt um, like uncertainty that it was going to happen. I was just like, I know, they're our family now, like it's going to be fine. But I think for our kids, there's that sense of uncertainty and they don't fully understand what's going on and they don't 
fully trust yet. And so I think since then, because it has now been over a month since their adoption day, we're already seeing a difference. Like just, um, just feeling more secure, feeling more like final, like this is our family. And I think that they are like feeling completely settled in. And, you know, we also moved to this new house, like in the fall. And so there's been a lot of transition and change, but we're kind of getting to that point where we are settling and it's feeling more normal and like home. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for following along with this adoption journey. And if you've missed any of the other steps, I will link them above and below. If you want to see other parts of the journey, it's been an emotional roller coaster. Uh, I do not think we will be doing foster care or adoption again anytime in the near future. We've talked about maybe when we're older doing foster care again, but I think for now I can say like we'd we'd prefer to be done. <laughs> we'd prefer to be done because we're both introverts and so the idea of having like a ton of kids is not not an environment I think I would thrive in, <laughs> nor would my husband. Having three already feels like a lot and so I want to make sure we can really be there for them. But I will still have tons of adoption and foster care content coming your way and just sharing the things that have helped me and the things that have helped our kids. So if you're interested in any of that, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are not subscribed already. And if you enjoyed this video and you were also impressed with my sister-in-law Bree's awesome editing work and video work, go ahead and click the like button because that'll make her feel really good about herself. So anyway, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. I appreciate you so much. I hope you're having an awesome week and I'll see you next time.